This is the lock picking newbie. And uh, what I have for you today is a giveaway entry. This is uh, for Chris Capune's uh, 400 subscribers. Actually, I guess it's for Suki's 400 subscribers based on the hashtag. And um, what uh, Chris wants us to do is um, pick a, a, a advanced lock, let's say. Um, six pins with, sec mm, with security pins. Can't remember if it has to have security pins. This one does. And uh, in less than five minutes, and I guess that's it. Uh, oh, and then there's bonus points or bonus entries for questions, and I happen to have notes written down, so... <laughs> okay, so anywho, what do I have here? This is at American 1100. Uh, you may be noticing that it's a five-pin key, um, but I can tell you uh, it does have six pins in it, and I'll explain that after I got it. I got this lock originally from Zedrench, um, on his 100 subscriber giveaway. So I was very happy to have won that. I have picked this in its five pin version before on camera. And let's see if I can get into it with six pins. And what is this six pins you're talking about, newbie? Yeah, well, we'll take a look at that in a few minutes, hopefully. Okay, so I'm using my 50 thousandths bar. And I'm using a um, kind of a number seven hook in uh, 18 thousandths because I need the, need the hook due to the uh, bidding here. Okay, just feeling for some little clicks. That was three. I always kind of overdo it right here. So there's four. We really want to stay away from five pretty much. And then six definitely needs to get picked. So coming back to four, now we're into a nice false set. Into three. I guess we'll just leave him alone for the moment. And then let's see about one. There are spools in here. <clears throat> and depending on what order I manage to get him set in, I do get some... Uh, Counter rotation. Oh, and now I've gone and overset. I think that's. Oh, and here we are. I overset it and then I fixed it. So there we go. All right, we're open. Now, I hear the skeptics saying, okay, newbie, show it. Show why this is a six pin. So here it comes. I really like, I really like these American locks. I think you guys know that. this stuff out. Okay. And I'll get my body up here. Do a screwdriver up here. Okay. Here's your cylinder. Have my world's most favorite uh, C clip remover. Although on this particular cylinder, I don't know what happened to this one, but it's a little feisty getting off. Okay. Move that guy up there out of the way. I have um, done this without uh, shim, so I think we'll be okay. And interestingly, when it's not in the lock, it does sort of hang up, and that will become clear here why in a minute. All right, guess what, friends and neighbors? Six pins, all right, we love the six pins. All right, I'm gonna pluck them with the tweezers here. Okay, so this is going to be five. This is going to be one. And 
this is going to be two. I don't know if this is faster or not, but here comes three, four, and six. All right, so what I did, and you guys have probably guessed this by now, is I took the sixth chamber and I just put um, a pin in it such that it would intersect with the key, with the key in it. And you don't technically need a, um, a six pin key. See how that guy's in there? All right. So that's it. Uh, if you have a, uh, a pinning set, um, like this one, you'll have enough pins. Look at that. Isn't that a beauty? Anyway, if you have a pinning set like that, you'll have enough pins to, um, to do that. All right, I'm going to go from the front because I'm just gonna keep the suspense going on you for these amazing, uh, this amazing pin six that's coming up. And actually, I don't remember what all these pins are in here. I'm pretty sure I gutted it before, but I don't remember what all these are. And uh, hopefully uh, you guys will have been staring at the uh, pins while I was picking. I kind of do that sometimes. I think you might know that. Okay, so here's the last uh, pin. It's a spool that I put in. All right, so the lock um, was all, you know, this the way I, I received it um, from Zedrench. I said Zedrench before, right? I didn't mix that up, did I? Um, it, and then, um, you know, obviously I uh, added in the uh, sixth chamber. So you can see the, um, the way we've got the pins. We've got um, all the standard American style key pins. The longer ones are serrated, shorter ones are not. Um, serrated spools in one, three, four, five, and six, and then a serrated pin in two. And let me just show you why I chose the um, spool for chamber six. And depending on the, the, the order, um, I get these things in. Um, sometimes this really makes a difference. And uh, basically that spool is in the belly of the spool with, uh, you know, with no key in it. And so once I get tension on it, then I've got a Get a little bit of counter rotation and all that. So, um, yeah, there you have it. That is uh, the six pin with security pins. Um, the core is, as far as I can tell, completely standard, as is the, uh, the Bible. And um, that was a fun pick, and it's a fun um, giveaway. So, Chris, uh, thank you very much for that. Um, and with that, uh, that is all I have for you. This is the Lockpicking Newbie. Have a good day.